Okay, what we're gonna do is talk about a BJT and specifically about how to select the base resistor and that's all we're talking about. Okay, let's go. So we got a situation here where we have a bipolar junction transistor, it's an NPN transistor. I got my C junction, my CE junction, which is going to be 0.2 volts, which is pretty standard. And then this guy is 0.7, which is also pretty standard. Okay, let's continue. So my RC is a thousand ohms. What I want to do is I want to put current through here so that it fully saturates, so that this is a closed switch, so that this goes down here. So now what I need to do is I need to say, okay, for me to select this, I need to know how much current I need to go through here and then I select a resistor that will draw that current. So, but how much current do I need to go through there? Well, I look at this and I say, okay, I have a certain amount of resistance here that's drawing current and it's drawing it down to, th to the ground. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, how do I calculate the current going through there? Well, I just lean on Ohm's law. It's pretty simple. Let's just take a look at Ohm's law. I know that if I knew the voltage drop across that, and I knew its resistance, then I could tell you the current. And that's what's going on here. So if I were to actually look at the formula to calculate the voltage drop across that, I'd say, well, it's whatever the source voltage is minus the voltage I'm losing across here because Kirchhoff's law says that the voltage drops across the things. Yeah, the, the resistors in a circuit, in a series circuit, and this also, although it's not a resistor, has voltage drop, the voltage drops all add up to the source. So I know that this, plus the voltage drop across this equals this. So, Ohm's law tells me the current is the voltage divided by the resistance. So the voltage is this, it's the source voltage minus this, that's my voltage across this resistor, divided by this resistor, and that gives me the current. So I got 10 milliamps. So essentially what's going on is that when this switch is closed, 10 milliamps will go through. So then, because a BJT works under the concept of saying, okay, if I want to fully saturate that BGT, I need a certain amount of current going into the base that is actually equal to this divided by that, yeah, by the gain. So essentially if the gain here is 200, then what I need to do is I need to say, okay, so how do I calculate my IB? My IB is going to be my IC divided by my gain. Yeah, and if you throw the numbers in there, it ends up to be 50 microamps. So essentially it's 10 milliamps divided by 200 which is 50 microamps. Okay. Okay. So now we've got current running through this base. We know that we need at least 50 microamps to go through to fully saturate that and I know that I don't know this resistance but I do know my voltage here and if I actually go back and lean on Ohm's law like I did over here I can kind of use the same formula and I think it'll make sense that if I wanted to calculate the current through there and I knew the resistance I would do this I would say it's the voltage over the resistance the current through this resistor is the voltage divided by the resistance okay that's fine but I don't know the resistance but I know this so what I'm going to do is just rearrange this so I'm going to write my RB here and my IB here. So I've just rearranged that equation, no problem. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna solve this. Now, I've got this guy's five volts, and I know that that is 0.7, and I know this, because I calculated it, so that's pretty easy. So I'm just gonna go like this. I'm gonna write down here, five minus 0 0.7 volts, divided by 50, microamps and I think that's 86 kilo ohms yeah 86 kilo ohms so now essentially if I put an 86 kilo ohm resistor there exactly that much then I'd have exactly just enough current to fully saturate that but what I want to do is I want to make sure that I have more current than I need to fully saturate that so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to choose a resistor here it's probably like half of that or maybe a little bit more than half so, I don't know, like a 50K is probably good. So, I think that's how you do that. Now, if you want, you could put a 50K in there and recalculate it, however you do. It's gonna be more than 50. Or, if you wanted to go down to a 40K, that's also fine. It's tw more than twice the current, which is perfectly fine. As long as you don't put like a 1K in there, you're good. So, stick to about half of this, or somewhere in between half and a qu three quarters of that and, and you're good. So whatever resistor you have in your kit you're going to throw there, you're going to get more than enough current than you need and this is going to be fully saturated. That's how you choose your base resistor. Okay,